Hey everyone, welcome back to Flameline Visual Effects. My name is Wasi and today I am going to show you how to create this stunning cinematic particle logo and text animation inside of Adobe After Effects using third party plugin Trackboard Particular and Deep Glow. Alright, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Before starting the video, I would like to say if you are new to this channel, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it gold metallic logo. And I'm going with 1920 1080p, frame rate 29.97, duration 10 seconds, then hit OK. Okay, now import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below and it's free. Okay, now select our logo, then place it into this timeline. If you want, you can also use text as well. Now make this uh, logo smaller a little bit, like this. Now pre-compose it, so right click, pre-compose and rename it to logo, then hit OK. Okay, now select this studio reflection image, then place it into this timeline press S make it smaller and then add a uh, fast box blur and blur radius set it 50 then add motion tile then click on mirror edges then increase output width then increase output height now go to beginning of this uh, composition then set a keyframe on tile center then go to end of this uh, composition and increase this value like this now pre-compose it now place it below this logo layer then change this uh, track mat uh, layer to our logo layer now add cc blobby lies on it then go to blobbiness blob layer set it our logo then property set it alpha softness set it 6 cutaway set it 0 now uh, create adjustment layer and then add tree tone let's change the highlight then change the mid tones okay let's add our texture make it smaller like this then select our logo then press ctrl plus d then select this uh, our texture layer then change this layer track mat uh, layer to logo and then simply change the blending mode to uh, classic color dodge perfect now create another composition let's call it emitter then click on ok now select our gold metallic logo then place it into this timeline now go to around 3 seconds then go to toolbar and select ellipse uh, rectangle tool then create a mask like this then set a keyframe on marks path then go to around 8 seconds then press V on your keyboard then double click on this max path then move it to the right like this and then change the max feather to 50 okay let's create another composition let's call it particles then click on ok 
Before you continue, I would like to thanks Invito Elements for sponsoring this video. If you are a motion designer like me, you know how much time it takes to find right asset for your project. That's where Invito Elements comes in. It's an all-in-one platform with unlimited downloads of high-quality video templates, stock footage, music, sound effects, fonts, mockups, and more. Just search for what you need, download it, and you are ready to go. All royalty free for commercial use. So if you want to speed up your workflow and create stunning animation faster, check out Inveto Elements, link in the description box below. Now select our emitter layer, then place it into this timeline, then make this layer 3D by clicking here and turn off visibility of this layer. Now create a black solid layer, rename it to party cooler. then hit ok and then add particular particular is a third party plugin from red giant and you can download free trial version from link in the description box below now go to emitter then emitter type set it layer then um, particle per second set it 5 triple zero double zero and then velocity set it zero then go to layer emitter and layer set it our emitter layer let's change the resolution to half okay now go to particle and size set it for then go to size over life then click on preset and i'm going to use this preset then hit apply then go to uh, opacity over life then click on preset and use this same preset then hit apply now go to environment and windex set it minus 500 then air density set it 1.10 then go to air turbulence then effect position set it 133 and then move with wind set it 100 percent then go to turbulence control then scale set it 6 now go to lightning then go to shadow let and enable shadow let now go to rendering then motion blur and motion blur set it on okay let's add deep glow on it perfect now go to project window and select our um, gold metal logo then place it into this timeline let's add linear whip now go to around three seconds then set a keyframe on transition completion and set it around 20 percent then go to around 7 seconds 15 frames then increase the transition completion value okay and then change the feather amount to 77 perfect okay let's ramp view this looks good to me okay uh, select this particular layer then add sharpen and sharpen amount set it around 20 perfect 
okay now select our gold metallic logo then add uh, star glow let's change the preset to uh, star prism and then uh, change the star glow opacity to maybe 40 percent okay looks nice to me okay now go to project window and select our fog background then place it into this timeline let's change the position a little bit now add crops on it now change the RGB curves to something like this then add tree tone let's change the color looks good to me okay let's add this particle there let's change the direction so right click transform then click on flip horizontal and change the blending mode to add then uh, add tree tone then add the glow go to input then input threshold set it around 20 percent perfect now go to project window and select our matte smoke layer then place it into this timeline and put it above the gold metallic logo then go to beginning of this animation then select our gold metallic logo and then simply change this logo track mat to uh, this matte smoke layer and then click here to change it to luma matte okay let's ramp view this looks good to me okay let's create adjustment layer then add curves on it and change the rgb curves to something like this and add a sharpen and sharpen amount set to 20 okay let's add a known object then select our gold metallic logo then particular layer then paint it to node 1 now go to beginning of this animation press s set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale value set it 110 ok now create a black solid layer let's call it opacity now click on ok then go to beginning of this animation press t on your keyboard set a keyframe on opacity uh, go forward around one seconds then set it zero then go to around um, nine seconds set a keyframe then go to end of this uh, animation and opacity value set it 100 so our animation is complete you can ramp view this
and that's it i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more after effects tutorial let me know in the comment what kind of tutorials you want next and i will see you in the next video till then peace out